Hey everybody, welcome back to another Seven Phase Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here watching some more Jujutsu Kaisen. Theta, why don't you go tell us what happened last time? <laughs> uh, a guy was betting on some uh, Mario Kart version of water races, and yeah, yeah. then apparently he lost $30 million doing so, because, as one guy pointed out, he's never seen him win. But I thought that maybe he had a future sight and he's just bad at it, but I don't know that's to be seen. Also, you think he might be Megumi's older brother, but Megumi has never mentioned an older brother, just a sister, who, mm -hmm. as far as we know, is still in a coma in the future past of the show. Or the past I future, depending on which way you want to look at the direction of Time's Arrow. But then we also had to deal with an old man who was seeing his dog who died 50 years ago. <laughs> Uh, as Goto beat the shit out of him, uh, there was a teacher who was real horny and wanted to give her phone number away to possibly a teenager, depending on what you think his age might be. I'm sorry, I'm trying to really hard to go over all the shit that I think was the most unimportant shit of the episode. So I yeah, can avoid... no, I love this train of thought of like absolutely nothing important. <laughs> I mean, there was also that maid that we might think belongs to Mai's household, given her, you know, martial skills with a mop. Right, right. And then we met a guy who's really good at drawing faces on uh, paper bags. That's his power. I can draw anything on a paper bag. Yep. And then we got a phone call from somebody who's good at Photoshop. Yep, there we go. So... So there you have it, everybody. Uh, I think to go back over that and try to reapply some important things, I Look, think the thirty I million. I clearly know what out. happened, or otherwise I wouldn't know what not to talk about. That's my only it, defense. Exactly. So uh, the thirty million they're talking about is the amount of money they think they're going to get, uh, or that they're putting up for the bounty for people to go and wear Gojo down for a while. Sure. Then uh, the clarification is is that he bet twenty five million on that race. And then the other guy points out that there's also booking fees because your posting board wasn't a, a normal type. But, you know, I don't remember anything. Yeah, it's like the something awful forms. You got to pay $5 or they kick you out. Uh, two, uh, the girl they were protecting separated out from them and then got attacked. So they had two separate fights. One with your old man with the dog who uh, whose life flashes before his eyes. I don't know. And the, yeah. And the second one, which was bad guy who can copy himself. Uh, Gojo reveals his powers and that he's not actually perfect with them right now. Uh, and of course, like I said, the exciting moment that we left off on was the maid has been captured. We have no idea how Ghetto allowed this to happen, and we just gotta see how things play out. So, I think everything is on the table for, well, I guess at least one more fight before the main antagonist decides it's finally time for him to step in and do something. Like I don't how long know do you think he's gonna wait? How many episodes there are in the season? Uh there are twenty-three. There's a lot. We are just starting. Question for you. When did the twenty-third episode get released? Uh ooh, uh, you got me there. My favorite song from the uh, Disney lineup. You got me there. That uh, didn't come out as well as I hoped. Buying time for Griff to look shit up. Here we go. I'll find you the answer. You got Don't a you friend in me. Last aired December 28, 2023. So literally just last month for us. Yeah. I thought that maybe there was going to be 24 episodes this season and that we were just really close to <laughs> the last episode being aired. So I asked you to look it up in case it yeah. was like, oh, it aired uh, January 21st, 2024. Well, so the next one gets aired today. Yeah, there you go. All right, then. So, I think on that note, let's go ahead and watch. But before we do, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and calm down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some relaxing stuff, you can go ahead and follow us over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all support challenges, a little bit extra. Click the link down below, join the Discord. Let us know if any of our yawns forced you to yawn. Uh, 
Oh, swimming with the fishes. We're already dead. Nope, Griff, the villain you wanted to find was a giant fish. God damn it, Griff, you have a call. Yeah, it's from Kujo. ま、I don't trust that. That's his version of events. Well, I mean, it's also exactly the version of events we saw happen. でも交渉の主導権は甘ないのいるこっち。取引の場さえ設けられれば、あとは俺たちでどうにでもなる。甘ないはこのまま交戦に連れて行く。消化あたりに影武者やらせりゃいいだろう。待て。取引にはわらわ
機内外をチェックして飛行中は私たちの呪霊で外を走る。Going over the events of everything as though it happened and just retrospective. Oh, day three is when it happens. Oh no, they're gonna know rush in the airport to keep him from saving the world. Well, we don't know them in the future, which does not bode well for them this season. They, they, they could always have, like, moved on and gotten regular jobs, you know? That or the happy, excited guy turns into that guy who can't say anything anymore. Since I completely forgot to check the names against the names that I know. すぐれ、戻るのは明日の朝にしよう。だが、天気も安定してんだろう。それに、東京より沖縄の方が受損地の数は少ない。もう少し真面目に話して、悟る。フライト中に甘ない。Just <laughs> I'm just waiting for when they decide to go back on the whole, the whole deal, and they don't turn her in to get transformed with the other person. Yeah, you know that's coming. Break the change. You know it's coming. It's got to at least be a dramatic moment. I mean, it looks like Gojo doesn't want it to happen, so. I, I can't imagine being a teenager who has to be on the job, and my job is just to stay at the airport for an entire day. I'm pretty sure I would have gotten bored as hell of that instantly. Well, Tom Hanks did it. Like, this is just Okinawa, but it has real tropical island vibes now. Didn't know you were so worldly. I mean, they said it was. Yeah, I know. Because they said it was Okinawa doesn't mean that you oh. know all about Okinawa all of a sudden. It's the ZOM 100 shark in Aquatic Museum. This is the place. It's the exact same. Oh, whale sharks. I do believe Psalm 100 is set after 2006, so still lines up. It's the whole episode of nice, quiet, contemplative going to the museum. Well, it's probably her one quiet day. You yeah. remember the other guys said that they were going to wait till the end of the 47th hour, which probably means that they're going to be attacked at the last hour. Oh, of course. Satoru? <laughs> <sighs> the instant he drops his guard, 
Five seconds after. Could be a non curse user. The maid introduced the concept of those people being around. Well, at least he's here in episodes earlier than I thought he would be. What do you mean? It's day three. Um, they said it's day three, three o'clock. Which is oh, a no, I thought I had, he had a whole other episode until that guy showed up and actually decided to do something. No way, it's day three, three o'clock. It's really close to our time. I was literally saying... He was going to show I up in the last hour. Since we talked about it. No. It's literally happening now. <laughs> when we started talking about it. Damn, well, he just created an infinite distance inside of himself. Yeah, so. Were there any of those times in a, uh... In a movie where the person stabs themselves through the hand to indicate that you can stab yourself through the hand without hitting anything vital. Right, right. It is infinitely amusing, though. Also, why did the thing that ate you suddenly turn into a giant rock? Maybe it was just a rock to begin with. None of Ghetto's other techniques have ever done that. ばんせいきょうのやつらおきなわ行ったときは笑ったけどな。周りの術師が一人も死ななかったのはクソだったが、検証金の時間制限がなければ、お前は最後まで術式解かなかったと思うぜ。あっそう。早い。だけじゃない
Oh yeah, where'd those two go? Yeah, so Gojo tore everything down so he could see everything in the distance and he's using the bugs as the same. The sword that pierces infinity. <laughs> or barriers. Like a sewing needle through a sweater, right? No. Sewing needle doesn't tend to rip. Man, what trickery has got to be involved that Gojo doesn't die? Yeah, there's there's got to be some massive bullshit about being pulled here. Tokyo,中の、天の坂ほこ、その効果、発動中の術式強制解除、少し、感が戻ったかな。because obviously he's alive in the movie and the first season of the show. Right, but that's pretty dead right there. Yeah, but then again, so was Yuji. Yeah, we've had a resurrection already. It's in the cards, technically. Maybe. But that guy had the yeah. the other sorcerer in him. Who could do that? All right, Ghetto, so what are you up to down here? リコ様。私はここまでです。リコ様どうか。どうか。くらい。大好きだよ。ずっと。これからもずっと。私も。私も大好きです。Now to be fair. And never mind. I would say the bounty was dead or alive, but I forgot the other guy put the bounty out there, and I have no idea if he wants to kill her or capture her anyway. I guess ultimately it's as long as she doesn't get to this room, but again, it's just him now. Oh. This looks cool. Yeah, fuck this guy though. Then who's keeping the lights on? Ah, uh, I... Someone's gotta come down here and do it, yeah. あの人は同化を抹消と言った。あれはそれだけ罪の意識を持てということだ。うちの担任は納金のくせによく周りくどいことをする。君と会う前。ま、maybe <笑> well, I mean, I like him in the movie. I somewhat like him in season one. He doesn't do shit. But I I don't want her to go through the transformation. And Ghetto is like, hey, you don't have to go through the transformation. <laughs> he beat you to the punch in the show. No, I've been saying it for like, what, last episode? At the very least. Watashiwa. 
I feel like that's not a 2006 era car, but shrug. Well, it's not. She was a child then. That's clearly the past, Griff. I feel like that's even more anachronistic. Oh, it's a tiny Japanese vehicle. What are you talking about? It's not a Prius or anything. Oh, Ghetto actually breaking an expression. Here we go. I mean, actually, Ghetto has been the most emotive of them all. <laughs> other than the other two girls from episode one. Who well, I mean, since he stepped down here, he's been pretty serious. Oh. Well, fuck me. Damn it, show. I didn't know we had watched 86 today. They were playing the damn happy music, too. Yeah. They really got us. They... It was everything I wanted, except for the gunshot. Okay. Okay. なんでお前がここにいるああ、そういう意味ね。五条悟は俺が殺した。Yeah, that's one way to piss him off. I don't know. I think if somebody can kill Gojo, you probably got no chance. I mean, it's the, so, it's the normal emotional response, right? It has right? to be. I, just, I figured it out, Griff. I know what's going on. Yeah. It's the work of the Photoshop sorcerer again. Okay, okay, I'll I'll buy it. What's what's up? What are your thoughts? The same one that sent the Photoshop on the phone. Uh huh. Uh -huh. None of that shit happened. Uh, it's also photoshopping Gojo in real life in real time, and then Photoshop the girl getting shot in the head in real time. So that means he's with and against the villain then. Yeah, mysterious third party. Why not? We've also got the Q army and the Star religious people. There's already multiple factions at play here. Why not? Uh, What's your alternative, so Griff? Do you want the girl to be dead and then Gojo's actually been dead for the two times that we've seen them? Now, honestly, if the whole cast just ends up being zombies, you know, I'm just gonna roll with it. Why not? You're typically spoiled for zombies. As it turns <laughs> out, we've learned. We we already went to the uh, to the aquarium, so, like, we know zombies are in the future. That's the hint right there. <laughs> oh, I was talking about a different school. Oh, yeah, no, that wouldn't... <laughs> Without spoiling that for anybody else who hasn't seen it. Oh, gosh. But no, like, maybe maybe we get into some, like, time shenanigans and, like, it all winds back. ちょっと始めるのに遅すぎることはないと言うけれどいつも問題なのは始めどきよりやめどきだよね what was the thing you looked up at the start of the episode? Uh, I think when the last episode aired. Uh, no, after that. I don't think I looked up anything. You literally, you did. Yeah, have to remind me about it. <laughs> it was related to the name of the episode. Uh... Oh, right, when premature death happens. Premature death. Yeah. Well, I didn't ask you to look up when premature death happens. Right, I knew and I didn't spoil it for you. What? I didn't tell you when it happened. What? I just said that there is an episode named that somewhere. No, I said premature death. Did you see that? And then, because yes. it was in the title of this episode, and then... So why would you look up when it happens when literally it was in the title of the episode? I don't know, because I was just like, huh, I wonder if that word refers to something. Is that like the second arc? I don't uh, know. This is like that time you looked up when 9-11 happened. <laughs> Supposedly sometime in September. So, 
Theta, what are your thoughts then on premature death relevant to the scene where someone literally just died prematurely to their objective? Well, I mean, clearly they didn't die. Mm hmm So. Or we're going to go back in time and fix it all. Why would I say that? Because the story's crazy and it's gonna happen. I already brought up the idea that he has time manipulation. And you mm -hmm. didn't even spot why I said that when I said it, so... Yeah, I I remember you saying it. I remember seeing a scene, and I remember the scene had a clock. And I didn't see the hands because I wasn't focusing on that detail. I was interested in who was winning the bets. Um, So yeah, no, I guess that might be in the cards if this assassin guy cannot actually beat Ghetto. See? He goes... He just activates it and leaves. But he also has no cursed energy, so he's not a cursed user. Yeah, he is, though, because he's got a cursed spirit on him. Yeah, yeah. The only fact that we really know is that it appears as though Gojo is dead, and Gojo's not dead. So. So, I've been solving mysteries lately. Uh, it's like part of a Sherlock Holmes like board game, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take some of the stuff Clue? I learned from there You've been and apply it to this mystery here, yeah. You're going to be my Watson for a Cluedo. second. All right. What? <laughs> Cluedo, as they say in Europe. Yeah. So, I'm Sherlock. Here's my answer. I'm blaming the French. Well, if you want me to be your Watson, famously, I went to war, but it was in Afghanistan, and that wasn't against the French. I believe the French were our allies in Afghanistan. So, what do you mean? <laughs> Also, um, famously, the Japanese love the French. Kind of like a uh, two yeah, sides well, that of the same the coin. Then. Yeah, I don't know where you were going with this. I don't even know I, what I the source of your there joke on was. The last really ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> so, any any more crack theories there, Theta, for from you, or we, or or you got anything else? Ketchup. It's all ketchup. All right. I mean, it's not a crack. Literally, it's not a crack on. theory. I think what would be more Gojo than anything, right? That would be to pretend to get stabbed to death. So maybe he's just letting the sword come in and then pretend right. to put enough force against it so that he then lets the guy do what he's going to do. So he like, gives away all the information and then mm -hmm. show up at the last minute like, haha, I'm not dead. Just whole thing covered Here. in ketchup. You're right. They were at the airport, so they could have gotten a novelty body-shaped packet of ketchup, and he could have been wearing it the whole time. Well, you no. got it, Theta. I mean, literally, just has to wear a bunch of ketchup packets, or you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. He's a weird power set. He could literally do anything. Well, we'll get to find out what he does next time to not die. So for right now, this has been So Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin. That's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Faced Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?